opportunity for granted. Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to welcome. Um, uh, are you here now? Chiwen Dunweke from Lagos, from Port Harcourt, Nigeria. Are you online? Chiwen Dunweke, are you online now? Chiwen Du? Oh, it seems she's not ready. Um, uh, um, Davina, is Davina ready for our presentation? Yes, sir. I just need oh. access to share my slides. Okay, I trust you always on point. Thank you so much, Davina. Ladies and gentlemen, if you don't know, this is the star girl, Davina Election. You gotta watch out for this face. Watch out for this person. Watch out and watch out. I can tell you, she's got to watch out for this lady, Lila. Thank you so much. Davina, over to you. Over to Just you. Just tell me when you guys can see my slide. Yeah, can... you can see your slide. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to start now. Hello, everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. My name is Davina Toluanimi Eleshin, and today I will be briefly talking about my role in achieving the United Nations sustainable development goals. Okay, I don't have much time, so I wouldn't really spend much of my time talking about what these goals are, but they are a series of 17 goals fixed by the United Nations and adopted by 193 countries in 2015 that serve as a universal call to end poverty, protect the planet, and ensure that all people enjoy peace and prosperity. Okay. And when I first heard I was going to be speaking on this program, I was like, what is Davina even doing to contribute to these goals? But I had to reflect and realize that I'm actually doing little things to contribute to these goals. I'm contributing to goal three, good health and well-being, goal four, quality education, goal 10, reduce inequality, and goal 13, climate action. So I do these things on Instagram called 10 questions with Davina. And with 10 questions with Davina, I am representing over 124 million youths in Nigeria alone, in Nigeria alone, to ask professionals questions relevant to our stage in life. And I was watching this series called Anne with an E on Netflix, and they had like a certain episode where the education was transformed. And Anne was speaking to the adults, and she was saying that. If you tell me, I will forget. If you teach me, I will remember. If you include me, if you involve me, I will learn. And the whole point of education is to learn. The main point of quality education and the main point of the United Nations setting that goal is for education that is of quality, of value, to be given to people irrespective of whatever such interest that they hold. So with 10 questions with Davina, I have brought awareness with Mrs. Tobi, Ms. Toby Loba Ajayi. She is an international law degree holder. And what she does, she's also a cerebral palsy, an adult, an adult with cerebral palsy herself. And she has realized that kids with cerebral palsy do not have the opportunity to learn like other kids in Nigeria. They are being marginalized and that is wrong. Nobody ever had the choice to have such to have a disability. So why should that prevent them from getting knowledge? So she founded this initiative called Let CP Kids Learn. And you can learn more about her from her Instagram. Then Mr. Dio Samuel, I interviewed him and we talked about anxiety, fear. And now I've actually educated people on anxiety. So I'm actually contributing to go three, good health and well-being, and go four, because I'm actually educating. Then while I was on the student advisory board of Diamond Challenge, Diamond Challenge is a competition based in America for, for teen entrepreneurship. I interviewed the wonderful Alex and Ben Joel. They founded Intutoli. And the major, the major point of Intutoli is to bridge that gap, the education gap that was caused during quarantine. And I personally, I'm also in, I tutor, a girl, a 13 year old Afghanistan, Afghanistani math. So I am also helping to bridge the education gap caused by whatever phenomenon. Then the last person, I've actually interviewed more people, but I don't have much time to share, Mr. Remy Dairo. And I asked questions on product activity. So that's like a group word that he coined. And if you watch my video, you can go check it out. 
going further, my school, we did a project with the Prince Trust. Let me try and, sorry. Controlling slides is not easy. We did a project with the Prince Trust um, Sustainable Development Youth Summit in November 2021. And we just discussed ways for, Niger for the Nigerian government to actually improve our education. Because a lot of people, especially university students, are not educated as of now due to ASU strikes. So I have realized that there's so much to do. In the future, I also want to contribute more and more to not just goal three, goal four, goal 10, goal 13, but also the goal on peace and justice, that's probably goal 16, and uh, more on reduced inequality because I plan on tapping a bit into human rights. Lastly, if you guys forget every single thing I've said, please don't forget this. Let's live our lives in a, mother, in a manner that the people who come after us will be able to live comfortably because of what we've done. Let us adopt the general objective of the SDGs, that is like Ianu mentioned before, that the needs of the current population should be sufficed, but not at the expense of the future population. And what that means is having the mindset of they will sort themselves out, having any selfish mindset will not help us to achieve any of these SDGs. So let us live our lives in a manner that the people who come after us will thank us and will be able to live comfortably because of what we've done. Let us build on our interests and actually tap a bit into what we like doing and find a way to help sustainable development. Thank you for listening to me. And for more inspiration, feel free to check out my Instagram, Davina Elishin, or my YouTube, Davina Inspires. Bye-bye. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Davina Eleshin, the star girl. Thank you. Thank you so much for what you've been doing. We, we love you. We love you from Do the Dream. We love you. And again, want to say thank you to you, Mr. Sunday Eleshin, for giving us this opportunity. Again, we salute you. You're on the call, sir. Thank you so much, Mrs. Bridget Eleshin. Yeah, salute you. Thank you so much for giving us this beautiful opportunity to engage Davina and David.